lot of fish in here. Some of them are pretty big. That looks more bait like, but got just some basic rocks on the bottom. Nothing crazy. Oh, there's a good rock right there. I'm gonna mark this area. Yeah, this is looking really good. I'm fishing this. This is my first spot here. Well, the first one doesn't look very uh, impressive. It's trying to get that bait. I don't know if it's because it's still frozen or if it's really tiny, but it, whatever's on there is struggling to cut, get that hook point. But uh, yeah, I don't even think the bait had enough time to defrost. It's a good, good sign though. I think he might be on. It's probably a channel cat or baby blue. And you know what I do with the first baby blue I catch. I eat it. Yeah, whatever it is. Got part of the point at least. Let's see. Not the epic takedown I was looking for, but they'll come. I marked some decent fish in this area. Uh, nothing crazy. It's just, it's 27 to 28 foot of water, kind of a channel, and there's just scattered rock along the bottom. This might be a channel cat. A lot of little head shakes. Yep. Oh, that's a nice channel cat, though. Don't flick the bait off, Bubba. Yeah, that's a pretty good channel cat. All right. I don't know what you got to see on that camera, but there he is, first one. No bumps, nice healthy channel cat. Honestly, you can't complain about channels that size. He's probably eight or nine pounds. Whoa. And well, obviously feisty. He also left me my bait. So honestly, it was just a fun experience all the way around. Rebate this and get it back out. Just on the, pretty much just started being defrosted. But yeah, I marked some good fish. I'm hoping they're still around. Yeah, that fish had some mud on its belly. And I think that is the muddier area. So that might be the channel cat layer. Oof. We'll see. All right, that's a blue cat. Yep. New reel. It's not really dialed in. Okay, that's a decent fish. Yeah, all right. Yeah, feels like a good one. Just a slow start, but they're picking up. And by slow start, I mean I've been fishing about 10 minutes and only got a channel cat. <laughs> That's how you know you're spoiled. This river has definitely been spoiling me. This thing's got some weight to it. I don't have my real or my uh, net set up because of the bimini. I think I'm gonna need it. Yeah. Before it gets too hot and heavy here, I'm gonna get that set up. It's a brand new reel. It's got a little bit of play to it. I'm gonna have to mm. long fish. There goes uh, there goes something over there. It's definitely not this one getting into it. Very long fish. I've said it before, in this river, they get really long for some reason. Yeah, that's a that's a bruiser down, out there. That is a very good, very good fish. He's really the start. That channel cat, although nice for a channel cat, isn't going to be the starter fish if I bring this in. Because that is a healthy, healthy fish right there. Woo! Big head on it. Holy cow. Glad I got that net ready. But if it's hard to do it normally by yourself, it's especially hard when you got this bimini top. Now this guy is completely petered out, which I'm very happy about. So it's kind of strange. Oh no, he's a, I'll show you. Oh my God. Had someone ask why I didn't get the bigger net. This is one of the reasons. I've never had a fish not fit in it. Come on. Yeah, they all look small in this 80 size, and it's just a lot easier to handle in a small boat by yourself. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to get much bigger than this. 
in this area. <clears throat> oh. Woo! I don't think that might be a 40, man. That is a big honking fish to start out on. Look at that thing. Yeah, that's how you start a video, right? Well, I guess I'll do it. What's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of the Fly Daddy. As you can see, I'm back down here on the lower Susquehanna chasing those blue cats. And the conditions are a little bit different than they were the last time I was down here. Uh, but this rain's not going to stop me because it's in the 40s. I'm going to get in the 50s. You got to fish when you can. Uh, it's December 27th. And I mean, these fish are still on fire. Thanks for watching. I'm going to get this fish weighed up and show you guys. Uh, I got a fish swimming way up river. Trying to get this guy taken care of. Get you out of the net. Oh, come here, come here, come here. You're not going anywhere other than where I want you to go. Man, I swear these fish travel in schools because you get all these fish all at once and then you get a break and then you get all these fish. Look at that. I think we're just pulling for that guy. All right. Yep, yeah, that's another decent fish. Don't think it's anything like what I got on right now, but it feels like a decent one. Yeah, I got the drift sock out, back anchor, and I still am getting blown a little bit. The wind's coming from the, the southeast, which is just a crappy way for wind to come when, uh, when you got current flow coming from the north. Yeah, I think I still got a fish on there too. It's hard to say. Yep. This guy's way over here, so I don't have, I definitely am not in that line. Woo, we're getting the crazies going on here. Yeah. Luckily, none of those look monstrous. So I'm not overly concerned. I'm gonna fight this guy, get it in the boat. And then we'll see which one's the biggest looking. I'll probably be able to either boat flip this or well I don't know. He's not a boat flipper, never mind. He might be a gripper kind of fish. Just because normally I'd net him, but since it's such a pain to net in, in these conditions. Alright, yeah, you held all your energy till the edge of the boat because i'm just freaking fighting now not enough line for him to be doing that good fish good fish i'd be really happy with this if i didn't have a potentially 40 pounder in the boat Ugh, oh, he's still fighting me almost pulled me in and that's not an exaggeration Right. There's two rods out of commission. Yeah. Let's see what this guy is. Bigger than I was giving him credit for. I mean, it doesn't feel all that bad. Probably similar to the one I got in the boat right now. I'm going to try to keep the water off the lens. I'm going to periodically be checking. So, you know, you're watching a, vi a, a part of this. You know, fighting a fish and there's water on the lens. Don't worry, I'll get to it. It's not going to be the whole video. It's raining. It's not a heavy rain, luckily. It's like a, like a mist. Yep, it's like a carbon copy of that last one. All right, I'm glad I brought more bait than I have been because I'm going to be using it. There's the grips. Hey, that's staying on. Nice. Yeah, I'm going to be reserving the net for the truly big ones today. Bimini's are perfect to keep water off of you. But they are also perfect for getting in the way. Woo! Look at this. Oh, he is bigger than the one I just caught. What a disaster of fish. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Stop it. Almost knocked my rod in the water. Oh, 
Wow, I like it. It's a mess, but it came from the best kind of way. Let me get this up and out of the way here. It's one rod at least. There's three rods that either have fish on them or just had a fish on it. It's pretty nuts. All right, still got three in the water. I love being able to fish with more than three rods, honestly. Really spoils me here. I'm gonna clean up this mess a little bit. Whoo! Don't worry, big boy. He'll be getting back in the water. I don't keep you giants. I don't keep anything over like six pounds, really. That's fish number three. Man, these guys. The bait's there, but it's so torn up, I may as well give it to him. I'm gonna give it to him. So. It's not easy doing this recording thing. That's a horrible angle to try to show it off. This is the third one I caught. It's probably 19 or 20 pounds. I'm not gonna weigh him. Just wanna get him back in the water. But whoo! <laughs> yeah, that's good stuff. Yeah, he's, I think he was probably 20. He's pretty heavy. All right, get this next one up here. Come on, get out of there. Whoo, you're a bite. Mad fish, huh? All right. This is the second fish I caught, I believe. Just a scotch smaller than the third one, I think. 18, 19 pounds. Down, down it goes. And now I'm gonna get this third one weighed, this very first one I caught weighed up and I'll show it off to you guys. We got 48. Oh. Uh, yeah. All right guys, I'm gonna do my best to show this off here. This is 48 pounds in the net, so Probably about 46, 47 pounds. You know, I don't have the handle on it. Hopefully this is doing it justice. This is a Mondo out of here. Biggest I've ever caught, biggest I know of coming out of here. This is a freaking tank. This is Big Daddy in here. No one else is messing with this fish. He eats what he wants to eat. But he's been out of the water for a little bit. So I'm going to let him get it. Not that it looks like he needs it. Good man. There goes a 46 pounder back down to the bottom of that river. Gonna eat some more and get a lot bigger. Whoo! Uh, I oh man, I'm I'm hot. Like that was a lot of effort all of a sudden. And sorry for the crappy camera angles today. This bimini up here really screws with everything. Uh, but it's a necessity. It's supposed to rain on and off all day. Um, and you know, I gotta keep the, ca the water off the cameras as best I can. And off of me if I can, if I can help it. So, yeah. But that's obviously not the end of the video because I'm sure you can look and see that it's a lot longer. I'm expecting to catch a whole bunch more fish. That one's going. Hopefully you guys are able to see that. Ooh, 20 minutes since the last fish. You on there? No, you're not. You wanna come back for it? Oh man. Well, definitely gonna be moving here. One hit in 20 minutes is actually really slow for this area. And I know if I go to another spot that's similar to this, I can just, uh, I'll get on fish like bam, bam, bam. Uh, and there's a lot of spots just throughout here. Like this one is the first time I ever fished it, but uh, I know just down there, there's a spot very similar. It might even be a little deeper. It's just got some rock and man, they just hang out on there. And yeah, if I sit here long enough, more fish are gonna come through. But uh, I don't know, it's something nice about just tr moving and finding the fish, anchoring, casting out, and then just the rods folding over. And it, it's, it's really cool. And it's kind of unique to this, this river with how fast they bite. Uh, he's still on. 
<laughs> okay. Oh, okay. You're like, no, you ain't moving. You're not going anywhere. Why do they come in groups like this? Yeah, I, I had just talked about moving. Uh, turned everything off. Want the realest thing in. And it was still there. It was just sitting with it. That looks pretty good, too. All right, this guy's definitely on, man. Let's make sure this guy's on and see what he feels like. Oh, it's hard to say which one's bigger. I think that other one is. Look at him fold it now. Huh. I still might move just to switch it up, although it's probably not going to look that different. Bridge in the background. I don't know which one the fight, so this one's in my hand. I'm going to fight it. Uh, hopefully I can get him out of that line. Rain just started picking up too as I started reeling these guys in. It was actually really light. More of a mist. It's just a dreary kind of winter day, you know, but I got some warmth to it, so I, I'm not going to complain. I'm going to I'm going to fish my way through it. All right. What's up, dude? Oof. Glad my cameras are working. All right. That's Chunky Guy. How's that hook in there? Oh, the hook's in there. Great. All right. I'll keep him here for now. Hopefully he doesn't swim in my net. This guy's swimming up. Gotcha. Yeah, I think he's a tad bit bigger. I don't know. He's doing a lot of rolls down there. It's just weird how he, he just stopped. Like he must have just was like, you know what? I'm good. There's nothing more to worry about. And he just sat there with it. That one's got some shoulders. He's not very long, but he's wide. And these are really similar sized fish. No wonder I couldn't tell which one was bigger. I think this one, I think I made, this guy might be a pound bigger. And he's hooked well too. Holy cow. Right. Oh yeah, he's bigger. That's a good fish. Open up. Open wide. Say ah. Uh, come on. Got him. And unhook this right away. Yeah, that's a solid 20 clasp, a 20 pounder or something like that. Get this hook out so I can get that rod out of the way. I got his head like just partially out of the water, so that should be keeping the hook point where it needs to be. I'm not too worried about him getting off. He's caught. Maybe I'll get the hero double shot. But these guys are small enough I could hold them up by their mouth, but they're big enough that it's a pretty good double. And definitely a double. All right, we got quite a bit of water in the boat. All right, well, I had some serious technical difficulties there, but I think I got to work down here. I was gonna do the hero double shot, but uh, I, the one just has such a small mouth, I can't really hold it with one hand. Um, so this is probably about 20 pounder, maybe a little under. That is the first one I reeled in of the double. Let him go. There it goes. Yeah, this guy, I just couldn't get a good grip on. This girl, probably. But this one's probably about 24, 25 pounds. It's definitely bigger. I wasn't sure at first. I think I, we're swaying, but we might have a fish on back there. It's a floppy thing, though. Yeah, I'd say 25 pounds. I'm not going to weigh it. Need to get it back in the water. <laughs> but that was a really nice double there. And I'm pumped. I still might end up moving uh, just because the action gets so crazy when you first get to a new spot. But 
What a way to finish out on this spot, huh? Later. What do we got going on over here? Yeah, it's kind of looking fishy, huh? Maybe not a giant fish, but a fish none all the same. Yep, that's fish. Well, I'll have three rods in already. So, what the heck, may as well. This guy's definitely not on the same level as those two I just caught. But 100% of blue. Kind of bigger head shakes. The channel cats down here have smaller head shakes usually. He says 100% of blue cat turns out at the channel. <laughs> oh, a muddy, nasty channel too. But a big one. Bigger than that first one I caught. This guy's worth showing. Big freaking male channel cat. It's hard to get mad about a fish like that. Look at that guy. That Yeah, that's a channel. I'm going to weigh this because... Yeah, it's a channel cat. But that's a freaking good channel cat. Like to see him in a channel tournament. Man, these rattles are just tearing them up today. I'll probably be getting more of these. He took that nine knot cat max hook in, no problem. And actually, he doesn't want to let it go. Oh, nine point. 10 pounds, there it is. 10.01 it locked at. Um, so, yeah, I don't know how much the grippers weigh, but there's a 10 pound channel cat. I'll take it, look at the head on this thing. <laughs> He's a bruiser in the world of channels. Later. All right, well, I got three rods in. Yeah, I just had some good action, but I got three rods in and I wanted to move anyway. So we're gonna move, all right. All right, there we go. Finally getting some fish. I haven't marked many for a while. There's some good ones. Well, they're okay. It's hard to say. I'm going 2.7. But there's definitely some rock down here. Nothing monstrous, but enough for them to stick to and hide behind, see? So, yeah, I think I might fish this spot. still on there. It's not very big. I'll crank down on him here. Yep, it's on. It's a wiry little guy. Probably a channel. I marked some good marks though, so... I'm expecting big things here. Yeah, I'm not even stopping. I'm just cranking this guy in. I usually can tell if it's a blue or channel. This one's got a lot of markings of both, actually. Can't lie. He looks like a good eater either way. I think it's a blue, but his whiskers make me think he's a more of a channel. That and the spots, but they can both have spots. Either way, I'm gonna eat them. Cool. Okay, okay, this might be a real one. Still on there? Yep. Oh yeah. Freaking hammer timed it, at least. <sighs> I think his bark's worse than his bite, or his bite's worse than his size, whatever you wanna say. He hammered it. I just don't think he's backing it up with the weight. 
wiry fella though. Look at him go. That was a good takedown. <laughs> He's darting all over the place too. He's not giving up. But my gear's plenty powerful enough for a fish like this. Get off of the drift sock, you. It's like, all right, so you think you're strong enough to bring me in? I'll find ways. Weird hook job. All right. I should be able to boat flip him or leader flip him, but I got burnt before about that in a very similar spot pretty recently. So once this guy stops doing his alligator death rolls and opens up his mouth, oh, you jerk. Come on. open up put out they're in I don't know how I don't break these rods what the crap I deal with them all right I'm gonna rattle finally have the currents calm down a little bit that I think those floats are okay to use they weren't doing very good before <laughs> sorry but it looks exactly the same and the angle still just as crappy as it's been that's really what i got to work with here but uh solid almost 20 pounder i mean this is the most average size fish you're going to catch out of here the almost 20 pounder <laughs> um i don't know they just polluted with them and i'm okay with that uh, I know people have said it used to be better here, and probably, I know the, get the hoop netters have come in, you know, the commercial guys, but, I mean, they're invasive fish, and they have every right to do it, so I can't complain, the fish are definitely still here, so, can't blame somebody making money off fishing, I'm doing it, not, not nearly as much, though. the hot rod apparently oh 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 okay all right oh this is a this is a real deal fish here all right it's been a little bit since we've had a good one i think he's real he's definitely he's mean oh this line's all junked up it's it's a newer reel and i haven't really got the cast far it's just kind of binding up on itself but uh it's still working just fine. Yeah, this thing's got giant head shakes. Oh, okay, you gotta come in that all at once here again. I don't think he, he hit up or hooked up. Been getting taps like that. I mean, definitely channel cats in this area. And then this thing just folded it. Okay, he's on. Yeah, this is a good fish. I think he's another long one. I'm gonna have to get him at the back of the boat here or go all the way around because uh, he's inside of the drift sock. Let's see. Whoa, whoa. I mean, they're e glass rods, so they're gonna bend, but uh, usually not quite like that. I hope I'm capturing that. That's crazy. This guy is mean and strong. I'll let him wear himself out. I don't need to bring him up if he's still doing this crap. Yeah. Oh, okay. And that's another good one. Maybe I will get this guy in there. Yeah, he's a bruiser. That's a good fish. That other one right there, probably not. But that's a good one. 
Oh yeah. Do I try to net this one? All right, we definitely got three fish on. How are you hooked here, buddy? Through the bottom. These fish keep hooking themselves through the bottom of the mouth. I'm not real sure how. Come on, don't mess around here. There you go. Yeah, it's a good fish. Mid to upper 20s probably. Stop rolling. This place is nuts. Absolutely nuts. When it's when it's good, it's not always like this. I, I know I make it look like it's always crazy here, but I've had a lot of trips where it hasn't been. Yep, he's, he kind of swam up with it and then just sat there. Woo, all right, that guy grew a little bit, huh? I think that one next to it isn't another fish. It's just in the line. That's all right. <laughs> and I was about to call it on this spot. Just a bunch of small taps and a channel cat or two and like all right it's not worth staying here losing all my bait and then bam as they often do they all came at once i swear they're like wolves just hunting in a pack all right around fish Trying to stay a little bit more cool and collected when I got all these fish on and getting my rods in better positions because I know I'm going to lose one. The rods are 75 bucks and the reels are almost 70 now. That's a lot of money. So, all right, all right. How'd you get so much bigger fish? Did you eat another fish that was on the line? Because you started off looking really tiny. That first one fought way above his weight class. It's still a really good fish though. Uh, he's got one. Might have made it worse. Afraid to get any closer to that bridge. There's a lot of traffic going on today. It's making a lot of noise. Yeah. Oh, that's another chunker. Why were you so calm down there at first? I swear there was a smaller fish on and he ate it. There you go. That was a pretty convenient place to have to net. I got him out of that line too, nice. He was definitely in it there for a bit. Uh, too much crap to work around here. Yeah, I don't know. This one might be a scotch smaller than the first, but might not be, it looks fatter. I'm gonna weigh these two. That, that middle one now I'm not gonna bother with. But definitely gonna weigh these. Nice. Get my gloves on. My fence get slimed up for no reason. Whoo! Look at this mess. Ah, oh, he broke his fin. Oh, it sucks. Get this guy out of the way first. So hopefully you can see it. Nice little teener, teener fish. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna deal with this mess. Get him away because he's in the net. And uh, yeah, show him off to you guys. Since you're here watching for fish. Well, here, you can have that bait. You chewed it up pretty good. That'll add half an ounce to the weight, too. Oh, hey. 
Hey, well, hey, do we got another fish? Oops, this thing was already on. Uh, that might be another fish. It's looking kind of like it. But I said I was going to weigh this fish. And I don't want to keep this guy out of the water any longer. Oh, but the fish, he can just stay on. Can't get too greedy here. Fall down the net. Ooh, 29 pounds on the net, so probably about 27, 28. But he was, uh, hey, 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 hey. Easy. Oh, that's a horrible angle. All right, guys. Let's try to make this work. I got a fish on in the background. This one's about 28 pounds. Something like that, 27, 28. Really nice. Man, he had a really nice dive too. I really, really want to catch this fish, but I got that other one that's been out for quite a while. That's a good one too, but I don't care. I'm going to weigh this guy and show him off. All right, hey. That's a 30 pounder all day. Did you? look at the camera here i'm gonna catch that guy because he looks big all right this is a 30 pounder right on the money here it was like 31.5 in the net i'm calling that 30. i hope you guys can see it all right <laughs> but i wanted to get him out because he was hurting his fins like these heavier fish they'll roll around your boat and they can like break their pectoral fins and i hate that i don't know how much they need them at that size but I don't want to be the one that hurts him. So let's see what this fish is. He's been pretty patient. Oh yeah. Thanks for not letting me or making me regret leaving you on here. Woo! All right, maybe some of those marks I saw got hungry. <laughs> this is nuts. I gotta tighten this rod down on it. It's not the real thing. <laughs> Somehow my lens is clean. This is another one. I'm probably in that upper 20 pound range. Got two rods left. And who knows if they even have bait on them. Ooh, he's, he's digging. Big head shakes. Ha. Yep. It's crazy how long these fish are. It's nuts. My net's not together, so I'll be uh, gripping this one. That's all right. Oh yeah, he's another hog, man. This is craziness. This one might be a shit. Oh, there's so much catfish slime on this boat right now. These rattles are tearing them to pieces. Oh, come on. Let's see those tonsils, ah. Come on, I can't be flipping you. Yeah. Can I get him just by the hook? He just won't open up. Got a surprise attack him. Got it. All right, another freaking toad in the boat, guys. Why are there not more people down here? I just don't understand why people don't come down here 
and blue catfish more often. Pretty obvious where I'm fishing. All you have to do is look at Google Maps and you'll know. Is that a fish or am I just moving? It's not doing much. But, I mean, anybody can come down here and do this. You don't need shad. Any bait fish would do. Chicken works. I've had a lot of people in the comments tell me that chicken works really good down here. And I've caught them on that. I mean, why, why aren't they coming down and fishing here? It just blows my mind. I don't know what happened, guys. I hope that other one took. Here it is. That last, it was almost a quad, but he came in after I let some go. So, 28 pounds. Woo! They just keep coming, man. Just keep coming. That rod's folded over, but I think it's just holding bottom and we're getting pushed by wind, but I'll check it here. Man, I hope you guys are able to see it. I've been saying that an awful lot. But... That is just, just not a good angle in here. But, be real down on this. I don't think there's a fish in here. Nope, that's just us. The wind's picking up. But man, this is some good action here. It was a big break, and now all of a sudden they're back. So I'll give it a little bit longer here. Other than head chunks, this is the biggest piece I've put out so far. Let's see what happens with it. I'm keeping them kind of small, just because the big ones have been eating the little stuff too. And I'm just trying to conserve bait. Huh. Yeah, I was just deleting a clip off of that other one because it was 18 minutes of nothing. And that one started going. Uh, but that's not going to be enough. I'm going to get going to another spot. It's been 18 minutes since that, maybe almost 20 since that last craziness. Um, really just a couple pecks. And that just seems to be the case through in this area. I don't know why. It's almost like they hunt in packs. It's like I'm really starting to think that's what happens. Because look, that one was just going. Now this one's starting to go. Um, but they're not very serious. And I don't know, maybe these big bruisers are just cruising up here together because I just see, keep on getting doubles, triples, even quads in this area. So I guess once you find them, look, now that one's starting to go. Maybe it's not just the bruisers, maybe it's just fish. Yep, he's on. Well, geez, I can't even leave this spot, huh? Didn't this happen last time I was talking about moving and then another one went? Huh. He's way out there. I think he's going to make a mess. Right. See what I can do with this here. It doesn't feel very big, but then again, he's swimming right up river. So that's helping out a lot. And that's usually a good sign on fish. That usually means they're pretty decent. This guy is really, really wiry, like just darting around and stuff. So it's making me think he's not a monster. I definitely got that line, didn't I? I had this one really close just to try something different. I don't know, it might have bit me in the butt. I, don't know, I mean, he's fighting. It's certainly not a bad fish by any means. Yeah, he's a good fish. He's got that hook kind of loose in there, though, I think. All that shaking, he might get off. Who knows? All right, finally one on the head chunk. Maybe that's why he hit it the way he did. Oh, he's wide open. Uh, got it. Oh, he got it. no jaw, dude. There we go. All right. Solid, almost 20 pounder, just like I've been catching. He's probably 17, I'll give, maybe 16. Uh, but just a solid fish, man. A very talkative. But man, I'm really starting to think they're hunting packs because my other rod started bouncing. None of them hooked up, but so far that's how it's just been going. So, you know, you show up to the spot, either you don't, you get hitched right away or you're sitting there waiting and then 10 minutes in, all of a sudden they just start going crazy. I don't know, there might be something to this. I'm gonna keep an, an eye out for it and just see if I can notice a trend here. Cause it's been like this other trips too. But I'm going to move. <laughs> Leaving fish to find fish. Breaking my rule, but it doesn't seem to matter down here. 
But I like that. There's some good fish. There's a decent rock. I might fish that. We'll see. It's not the exact spot I wanted to be fishing, but it looks pretty good. Sorry, I wanted to mark that. Yeah, I like that rock right there. That's exactly the kind of stuff I look for. Uh, especially when there's marks that size behind it. Well, there's another one up here too. Maybe I'll suspend that guy. Oh. You kidding me? Once again, we're getting a double just like that. Jesus. All right. There's definitely something to this fish hunting and packs thing. I was about to delete a clip. I've been here for about 20 minutes and I uh, haven't got a bite. Seriously, not a single bite. And now all of a sudden I got a double. Now these rods are right next to each other, but they're in no way tangled. What just happened there? I think he's still on, I don't know. Yeah, I think he's just swimming around with it. They're, yeah, these big fish are hunting together, in the, at least in this river. That's crazy. Woo, doggy, that's a good one. Worth the wait then. Yeah, he's on. He's just swimming back and forth in it. See, definitely not on this side. Nice. Yeah, that's a that's another monster back there, I think. Another good one. Oh, that was my chance. Open up. Open up. I got a big fish on the other line. Open up, fish. They got. Good job. All right. Freaking rattle got him again. All right, dude. Let's get you before you get all the other lines. Nice. Maybe I should have been focusing on this one. This one feels pretty heavy. Pretty really heavy. Yeah, 22 minutes on it. So yeah, it was about 20 minutes before I got into this fish here. Or these two. And all of a sudden, they both go. Uh, come on. you tell me they don't swim together. This guy, he had a chance to get in the other lines, and I think he did just that. Oh, what a dreary day. Hasn't rained hard yet, but it's just been drizzling and had some rain every once in a while. All right, he's not a monster, but he's a good fish. He does have that other line, and he's currently working on another one. Look at that mess. That's why I feel so heavy. He's bringing up three lines. Ten ounces of weight on each one. Holy moly. I mean, he's definitely not small either, though. He's a good fish. I'm very happy to have him. Yeah, he might be. Actually, he's growing as you get closer to the boat here. Oh, he's on a head chunk. Oh, my God. Uh, it's been a while since I've had this bad of a tangle up usually not this bad about getting them in the boat. Pull them in by the hook. Alright. What I do is just unhook him here so I can get all those lines untangled another time. Oh, the lines like rip him back in as he started wiggling. Oh man. If one of those lines get a bite on it though. Lord have mercy. Well, that was a complete disaster. Almost. Like, I did get my, my fish. So it wasn't a complete disaster. But, man, he destroyed my lines. All right. That might sort itself out now that I got that untangled. Holy cow. One thing I've noticed in fishing. Tangles and knots usually aren't as complicated as they look. All right, 25 minutes on there. Time to shut this off and get a new one going. 25. 
All right, here's number two. Nice 25 pounder. <laughs> nice and healthy, fighting me. He's a little scraped up, but he's the one that caused all that mess. So he's gonna be a little scraped up. I had to drag him up over the boat, but <sighs> another day or two, you probably won't even notice that he was caught. All right, I think he might have been the bigger. Let me get a weight on this guy, too. Yeah, I was seriously about to call quits on this spot. Came here 20 minutes, not a single bite. Like, all right, what, what, what changed from the last time I was here? And really, it was just the amount of flow. Yep, I was right. Right around 26 pounds, so he's got a pound on him. Just barely bigger. He looks a lot bigger though, in my opinion. But yeah, <laughs> these fish are furious when they do bite. But I did have a little bit of a, a little bit of a lull there, which on most rivers, I wouldn't consider a lull. 20 minutes isn't very bad, especially when you're flathead fishing. But uh, these blue cats down here, when they're on, 20 minutes feels like a lifetime. But, whew, 225. Almost 26 pounders back to back. Hunting together. That, I'm saying it, I'm calling it. These fish are hunting together. It's crazy, it's like packs. Uh, these guys are coming out 40 foot of water. Uh, before I was fishing about 28 to 30 foot of water. Uh, very similar bottom though. There's some bigger rocks back here though. And that's what I focused on. Uh, I'll give it a little bit longer. Um, maybe some more fish will work through. I've marked some really big ones when I was scanning up through here, but uh, I doubt those are the ones that I marked. I'm sure they moved on. I think this one might actually have a fish on it. I don't know. We're getting blown. The, river, the water, or the wind's coming right up river, but that's looking kind of fishy. It's been getting taps. I think we got a channel cat on there. And it might be the day ender here. I'd hate to end on a channel cat, but I think that's all I'm going to really get up this way. Give him a chance to get it. It is a small bait. All right, it's on. That's what I was worried about. They really like rocks, channel cats. And this is a very rocky area. This is why I've kind of avoided it. But that's not what I drive down here for. I can drive... 30 minutes and catch channel cats. Uh, well, the, the over the shoulder camera is not working. Um, yeah, she's not a very big fish. Kind of pretty colors, pretty brown. Um, would be a very good eating fish. No spots or anything like that. It gets to keep the bait. And yeah, I'm just gonna let it go and that'll be it. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I know you can't see me, but that might be a bonus. Thanks for watching.